Kishida said he would work to explain thoroughly to the public the need to use tax money to ramp up defense spending to 2% of GDP. The goal is separately set by NATO, and more countries are accepting it now since Russia's invasion of Ukraine. He also talked about his meetings with British and Italian Prime Ministers Rishi Sunak and George Meloni. He discussed with them about moving ahead on three-way development of a next-generation fighter jet that uses artificial intelligence. In addition to security and defense issues, Japanese Prime Minister also discussed about the country's economic plans. He said that Japan has not yet decided whether to join the United States on cutting the economic power off from imports of semiconductors, which are critical for advanced technology. About semiconductors, as you have pointed out, needless to say, this is an important material with implications to the economy and security. We want to have closer communication starting with the US and other allies and other like-minded countries and think how we can handle this. Based on this, Japan would like to deal with this issue in a responsible way. Kishida says that Japan still sees itself as a peace-loving nation and will use the G7 to push for the eventual abolition of nuclear weapons.